Now, what better way to celebrate Valentine's Day than with two, uh, not Valentine's Day inflatables, not St. Patrick's Day, not Easter, but uh, two Fourth of Julys. I announced on my Instagram story, uh, or at least I teased it a little bit, that I was getting uh, Fourth of July inflatables. I said like a double review, and then I had like one with a uh, American flag gift. And some people cut on, some people just really thought I was like losing my mind and stuff. Uh, but yes, here they are. They put, I don't know why they put them. Wow, really? So I did buy both of these off of Yard Inflatables. I was not planning on ordering the Airbnb Inflatable Uncle Sam off of Yard Inflatables because on BJ's they used to have it and used to is very important for 40. And I was like, oh my God, that's gonna be amazing. But then I checked, I think a week ago and they raised it to 50. And I was really upset about that because that doesn't seem, or at least uh, in my experience to be in BJ's nature of increasing they normally decrease because i remember the dragon globe went down to like 120 it was amazing but yeah they raised the price i was not happy about that at all and then by the time i checked yard and they had it for like if you know 55 and i was like might as well because i was going to get that one anyway i was going to get the patriotic pooch anyway uh so i was just like all right whatever i'll just put that one in the order and i got both of them off here and so yeah uh, one hundred dollars in total, just one, straight up one hundred. And th the reason behind that is because Yard Inflatables does not, you know, charge for shipping. They do not charge for tax, and that is really, really nice of them to do. And I one hundred percent applaud them for that. So we'll go ahead and open these up. I also forgot to mention that BJ's raised the price on the five foot bunny with tulips as well. It used to be 30. I got mine for 30, but they raised it to 40. I don't really know what they're thinking. Maybe uh, they are selling out of a lot of them. And Jimmy is either noticing that or BJ's is noticing that and they are uh, raising the price. Are you freaking kidding me? So I got both of the adapters out and then you can see their steak packs. I'll talk about that in a minute, but the adapters are actually uh, different in size. I was not expecting that at all. Now you can see on their box that they came in, they're the same exact size. The boxes are the same exact size. However, you have a 1.5A and a 1A. I don't know anything about what that A means, but I, uh, I can put two and two together and say that the 0.5 extra that this one has relates to the little bit bigger size on this adapter. So there you go about that. If you're wondering, uh, the bigger adapter belongs to the Uncle Sam. That just makes sense. And then your two stakes. Uh, this one was two steak packs. Or two uh, steak packs. This one is the Uncle Sam. You've got six, so you have four tether loops. And then your uh, pooch, you have four steaks. Maybe you'll have two tethers. So, curious about that. Uh, now you know. Now, I've gone ahead and moved the lamp over so we can uh, start on the insulation. Okay. Take a look at their cheap fans. Some people were thinking that the Uncle Sam was a base fan. I told them, no, it's it's not, it's a cheap fan. And now I finally have proof, so hopefully they'll stop talking about that. But anyway, and then your pooch, you have a smaller cheap fan, uh, relates to the smaller adapter, I am assuming. So yeah, we'll go ahead and inflate both of them. I'll just start with Uncle Sam to give you the specs now. First thing, right off the bat, I love it. I think it is an amazing 4th of July inflatable. Probably my favorite 
As of now, at least that I own. There is one out there that I really want to get, but I cannot find it anywhere. It's a 12 foot base fan, Uncle Sam, actually. It's really cool. Now, the God Bless America little, I'll call it a sign. It looks like a bag, but I mean, obviously, it's not a bag because there is no opening. It's really nice. It's got some weight to it, which gives it some durability. It looks really good. I would just probably have to like put some put something heavy on it to like flatten it out. It is a little crinkled. It's really crinkled actually. But yeah, just put something heavy on it, flatten it out. It'll be good to go. And then your American flag. Uh, this is a very, very, very minor issue. It's that it actually only has 12 stripes. If you look there. If you want to pause the video and count, I don't know if you want to do that. But it is. It does have 12 stripes. And the bottom one actually is white. It should be red, but it is white. Just a little little thing, little tidbit that I feel like Jimmy could maybe actually fix. I mean, you can't even get the American flag right. Whatever. Uh, the Uncle Sam itself inflates really tight. Very, very tight, actually. Holy crap. That feels like way better than a YEF-60 would do. And then uh, your two tether loops at the bottom. And then your two tether loops up top. So, standard really nice I think the six foot Uncle Sam is uh, definitely the best 4th of July inflatable that you can obtain right now and I would 100% uh, recommend it now the pooch I think is just as good I love it amazing hat everything looks really good now it actually is a lot longer than I thought it would be I thought it was more uh, at an angle or at least it's back sloped at more of an angle but no it is it's very I mean from there to there I would say it's probably five feet or so. I, I don't know exactly, but I mean, it, it does say five feet on the box. I don't know if that's referring to height. No, it's not because I'm okay. No, it's not five feet tall, but it is five feet long. It's probably four and a half feet tall, maybe. And then you do have two lights at the back, so it illuminates quite well. And then your Uncle Sam, I forgot to mention, has three uh, cheap fan lights also. And then you got a little bow tie here, which looks good. Uh, the, it actually has. All right, so that's one, two. Let me see if it has any in the back. Um, no. So it has two bean bags, and the two bean bags are actually in the front paws. Now they did some really jacked up sewing here. Let me show you. Yeah, that's way better. So they've sewn the bean bag to the front. Here they've sewn it. I don't even know where they've sewn it, but they did a good job with this one. Now with this one, it's just it's so bad. Oh my god, it's like terrible. The way they sewed the beanbag inside looks bad, but from the road you'll never see it. And then you do have a tether loop there. And there should be one at the back side. Yes, there is. So it has two tether loops on the bottom. And then, actually, that's it. I thought there was one on the side, but there's not. You got your two tether loops only. So I think that they might have uh, miscalculated with the stakes. Nope. Well, I hope you enjoyed this two-in-one review on the five-foot patriotic pooch and six-foot Uncle Sam. If you did, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for content every week. And I'll catch you later. Peace out. Bye.